What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. Jay Cutler is one of the most respected men in the bodybuilding industry. His biggest achievement is dethroning the greatest bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman. Keep in mind, Ronnie showed no signs of slowing down in 2005. That was another dominant victory of Ronnie Coleman. But Jay finally did what none of the legends like Kevin Lavron, Flex Wheeler or Sean Ray could do. But what made Jay Cutler so great was the comeback that he did in 09. When all the bodybuilding media, all the magazines counted him out. And the manner in which he won the Olympia and gave the bodybuilding fans one of the most dominating performances, including that iconic quad stomp. That will remain in the history books as one of the best moments in the bodybuilding history. So Jay Cutler holds that unique record of losing the title and winning it back again, which none of the other Mr. Olympians could ever do. And some legends of the sport as well, like Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Dexter Jackson and Brandon Curry. Now, fast forward to 2023. Jay Cutler is making this transformation. He says he wants to look the best he has ever looked since he retired. And it is just the start of his cut and he is already looking very impressive. The goal is to keep on getting muscular without dropping any weight and that too while using the minimum amount of gear. Michael the Bull is probably gonna dominate the New York Pro lineup especially based on how he looks right now. So he did some posing for Steve Weinberger and got some great pointers regarding some shots that he wasn't hitting perfectly at the Pittsburgh Pro. I think what Michael can do is chase the number of Pro wins because let's be real, he isn't a top 5 classic Olympian because the thing is he lacks the structure for it. But there is no doubt that he can win multiple shows every year and set a record by the end of his career. So hats off to him for suffering so hard to get into that kind of condition, which in turn separates him from the pack. Comparing Keon Pearson's thickness and density when he was roughly 12 weeks out last year versus 12 weeks out of Texas Pro right now, that gives you an idea that Keon is another mutant. He has packed on an insane amount of muscle after switching from classic physique to the 212 in just 3 short years. And the man continues to grow, that too at a very fast pace. The 212 is gonna be very interesting this year, as Keon seems like he will come into his own. Brian Asley is gonna be another wild card in the 212 division this year. All we the fans wanna see is an exciting Mr. Olympia. We want guys like Keon and Angel Calderon give Sean Clarida a serious run for his money. And from the looks of it, we will see the best and quite possibly the biggest version of Keon at Texas Pro in 12 weeks. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.